Uh, now I would like to request Mr. Ravi Kumar to come on stage and please uh, give an introduction of the Right Honorable Lord Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I, I have great pleasure in introducing you, uh, Lord Mayor Mr. Alan Yaro, who has been the chairman of CSI since September 2009. He was with uh, Dresner Kleinwert uh, and after 37 years with the group, uh, last as group vice chairman and chairman of the UK Bank. Uh, he has experienced both on the wealth and investment banking side as well as on, on the investment, uh, on the uh, best practices, governance, ethics, and uh, integrity side. Uh, he has been the uh, chairman of Kleinwort Benson Group as well as uh, director of Turquoise uh, Global Holdings Limited, uh, Fixed Netics Limited, and trustee of Police Foundation. He is an alderman and magistrate of the City of London an almoner of Christ's Hospital and a member of City of London Corporation Policy and Resource and Establishment Committees. He has been recently elected to, the, to, to become Lord Mayor of the City of London 2014-15 and takes off his, has taken off his in November 2014. He has been formerly the Sheriff of the City of London in 2011-12, uh, Deputy Chairman of FSA Practitioner Panel, Chairman of what is now AFME, Director of Complinate, Member of Takeover Panel, the Council of British Bankers Association, and the Chancellor of Exchequer's High Level Stakeholders Group. I have also pleasure in introducing the CEO of CISI, Mr. Simon. Uh, Simon Kulhane, he has been the Chairman of the Institute for, since May 2004, and during his period, CISI has gone global, and I, I would say has scaled uh, which, to a level probably which he himself might not have envisaged. He has worked with a number of blue chip financial companies and in, uh, with the central government in UK. His previous role was with Deutsche Bank, where he worked as director, chairman of his global investment banking. For three years prior to CISI, he was a deputy, deputy director, prime minister's efficiency unit, cabinet office, where he was responsible for the unit's work in a number of major government departments. Simon has spent his early career with Lloyds, Lloyds Bank and in a number of roles, including senior group manager, retail banking with, uh, for the King, Kensington area and in Chicago, US. He is a fellow of uh, CASI and a member of Institute of Financial Services. He has been educated at St. Paul's School, London and U University of Surrey. Uh, I, I am happy to see in the gathering today, uh, uh, Mr. Alan Yaro and uh, Simon, all the leading practitioners of wealth management here. We have representatives from LNT, Kotec, Asit Mehta, uh, Centrum, and all major technology companies. So those who facilitate investments and those who enable the technology platforms are both present here for you to take advantage of. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now can we please request uh, Right Honorable the Lord Mayor, Mr. Aldil Alonaro, to come on stage and give us with a keynote address. Uh, distinguished guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to be with you in Mumbai. Delighted to be in India and to see, and be so proud to see uh, the BSC and the CISI are in such fine fettle. Do you know, this is the second time I've been near a trading floor in the last week. I was previously last week with ICAP, uh, and we we're on their charity day. That's the day when they give away all their commission and all their gross profit to charity. I think they raised somewhere in the region about 20 million in that day. I was manning the phones, and I actually did a couple of deals, and I remember what it's like, and it was great fun. Uh, so it's now I haven't dealt for a long time, so those two deals actually really were very refreshing. Today I appear uh, to you at a very different kind of trader, dealing with a different kind of stock. As the role of Lord Mayor, I am an ambassador for the UK services sector. I have always been a salesman, and the UK has a great product to sell, so I fit the job perfectly. As you know, the city is the top truly global financial center in the world, and we are also the single biggest investor in India. Equally, I have to say that the Tata organization happens to be the largest employer in our manufacturing industry back in the UK, 
So that there is a real partnership there. But the city is so much more than just banking and financial services. We have insurance, maritime, asset management, and legal services. You name it, we have it. And of course, the UK can offer a superb cultural life. Theater, art, music, almost as many UNESCO World Heritage Sites as India, and food. Britain's top restaurant, according to industry magazine, is Jim Khanna, an Indian restaurant. Also education, training and qualifications. The UK is home to the highest standards and the very welcoming institutions. It's so important for India and the UK to work together to develop skills and professional standards. Everyone in the financial service industry is facing the same challenges. We need more skilled workers, particularly from graduate to mid-level. We need more specialist education. Companies all over the world are hoovering up well-qualified people, and we have to keep them up, keep up with that demand. India has immense potential in its people and its workforce. It leads the world in the provision of high-quality service, exceptional human capital, and a can-do attitude. And given the increasing demands, we need a rapid upskilling. London and the UK have the preeminent specialist institutes which provide business qualifications and training. And I am, as you know, a chairman of one of those institutions, the CISI, which is putting on today's event. I first heard about the deal between the CISI and the Bombay Stock Exchange a long time ago, a year ago, in fact, way before I was Lord Mayor. We celebrated it then, and we'll celebrate it again now, although, quite frankly, I didn't realize the time difference between London and Mumbai was quite that long. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the first agreement to promote another body's qualifications, and the BSC <coughs> has ever signed. <coughs> Excuse me. We have a vote of confidence in the CISI and its abilities, and what a wonderful testimony to the BSE's ambition. This is coming at a similar time to the Institute's involvement with the NISM, where we're also supporting them with their integrity product. However, these products, thank you very much. However, these products and these exams you take Whilst you might have passed the exam on integrity, you have to maintain it with good CPD. So I strongly recommend you consider becoming a member of the CISI in your process because we do CPD 35 hours a year to maintain your qualification. I want my trip to India to pave the way for more deals like that, not just with the CISI, not just in Mumbai, but across the country and across the world. The time is ripe. The UK India Financial Service Partnership paves the way for an even closer relationship in the future. Even more collaboration, jobs and growth. So congratulations to all the winners of today's awards. I know you will go on to excel in your chosen careers. Careers which I hope will bring you to the UK at some point. We're always looking out for top talent and your presence will be very welcome. The fact is you are now got a global, you'll get a global qualification which is transportable. And if training is your thing, then look to London as well. We have an unparalleled concentration of the high quality academic institutions and professional bodies. One of my predecessors described London as a city of learning, and it still is. It's where professionals of all stages are doing their training and their careers can develop their expertise, with our professional bodies enjoying truly global reach and reputation. The CISI alone has 40,000 members across the world. So, ladies and gentlemen, the CISI is open for business, then London is too. So, as Chair and Lord Mayor, I thank you very much.